hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been gone for a while but since nails is my passion i figured i gave it another go here on youtube in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i created this pink nude slash faded french classy set this video is sponsored by INM and all the links to the products that I'll be using will be down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. All right, so let's begin. I'm starting by prepping my nails. I'm using my practice hand, which is the reason I'm using a buffer block instead of filing the nails down. But if this was an actual hand, I'll be using my e-file and a sanding bit. Moving along, to create my nail extensions, I'm going to be using INM's Duality Nail Forms. And I like to use a cutout sticker from the middle and place it behind a nail form like so. And this gives you a better stability when you're creating a nail extension. Next, I'm using INM's Prep Step Nail Dehydrator following the INM's ONL Primer. The monomer I'm using here is INM's NOP Odorless Sculpting Liquid, uh, also with the INM Out the Door White Polymer. I'm going to be creating the faded French nail. So I start by creating my nail extension first, picking up a small bead. I did drain excess monomer from my brush before applying this bead. That way it's not runny as I'm applying it. When I pick up my second bead, you don't want to drain the excess monomer, so pick up a wet bead, that way you get a blended look and you prevent any visible harsh lines. You want it to look nice and blended. Next, the pink I'll be using is INM's Cover Pink. This is one of the first cover pinks I've used and I've been using it for years and I gotta say it's one of my favorites. I've used it on many of my clients in the past and it has worked well with different color skin tones. Now I'm going to be using an INM's Out the Door Clear Polymer and I just want to encapsulate that blended part where the cover pink and the white polymer meet. I just want to secure that spot of the nail. Okay, so for the rest of the nails, I'm gonna be applying the INM's Cover Pink. So enjoy the application.
All right, after all my nails are finished drying, I'm gonna go back to the ring fingernail and file it down a bit because I'm going to be applying a glitter acrylic and encapsulating it. Here I'm using my e-file and my fine card by bit. The reason I file it down is to have a thin smooth surface so after I apply the other layers, I don't have a thick nail. Then I'll be using my INM Solo Shaper Nail File in 100 grit just to complete smoothing out the nail and perfecting the shape. Alright, so the glitter acrylic that I'm using is the INM's Pink Hollow Glitter. And a little bit goes a long way. And then afterwards, I'll be encapsulating it using INM's Out the Door Clear Polymer. I'm gonna go back and file all my nails down using my e-file and card by bit and also my uh, INM solo shaper nail file um, so I'll just be showing how I filed down this one nail just because I feel like I take forever filing down each nail by the way I didn't show the application that I did on the thumb fingernail because I did the exact same thing as the ring fingernail so question, do you guys like watching the entire process nail by nail or do you prefer it being sped up? Because sometimes I'm not sure which one to do. I don't want to have a long video, but at the same time, I like showing you the process. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. After I filed all my nails down, the shape and the surface, now I'm just going to buff all of these nails and also using my brush to get all that excess crumpled up acrylic behind the nails as well. going to be applying some bling, some Swarovski crystals and I already chose which ones I wanted to use. So to adhere them I'm using what I believe is hard gel, it's called Stick on Jelly by Daily Charm. And I'm just using my dotting tool and my crystal katana to apply the crystals.
felt like the pink nail needed some love too so I'm just gonna do a simple placement on this nail To secure those crystals, I'm letting them cure in my LED UV lamp for two minutes. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna use my Leverage Dualit, uh, which is a base and gel top coat by INM, and I'm applying this to all of the nails. Alright, after curing them under the light, I'm going to be wiping off the tacky layer using a um, lint-free nail wipe and um, INM's Wipe Off Liquid, which I forgot to film what the product actually looks like, but no worries, the link to the product will be in the link in the description box. all right my nail lovers this is the final look what do you think let me know in the comments i'm taking video requests so also if there's a nail look that you've been liking lately and you'd like for me to try making a tutorial please let me know all right nice catching up with you guys and hopefully see you very soon bye